right, so um, I'm an attorney. I've been an attorney for about 12 years. I started with Virgin Records in-house, so that's where I got to see the label side of the business. Uh, some of our producers were like Pharrell when they started with the Neptunes. We had um, Black Background. We had a ton of ton of different uh, producers that were doing like the Guru, all types of rap and R&B. So I got to kind of see the label side and how they treat producers. So um, I'll, I'll speak on that probably later on, on how, how that happened. So I left Virgin uh, when they moved over to New York. I didn't want to go to New York. I stayed here in, in LA. And I started working for um, Master P, No Limit Records. So I did a lot, a lot of deals with all their producers and I got to learn the indie, indie side of, of the whole deal. The producers who uh, uh, did all, all the No Limits hits. I, I worked with Slip and Slide, represented Slip and Slide. Trick Daddy, Trina, all those uh, back in the, the early 2000s, and um, dealt with other people from the South. We, I worked in um, Rap a lot, uh, Rec Shop. If you guys are from Houston, I don't know if you guys know about the, the Dirty South, the, the um, Gulf Coast type music. But, yeah. So I've, I've seen how producers have um, dealt with the business side, and let's say it's Pretty much across the board, they're great producers, but a lot of people leave the, the business side kind of kind of to to other people to handle, and that's always been the bad thing to do because you don't know when you're doing deals, you don't know if they're good or not until two years down the line when the money comes in or when the opportunities come in. Like like who would have known known that the internet was going to blow up, or who would have known that mobile phones were going to be using ringtones and, and all these things, you know. If you did your deals back then and you didn't think about have the foresight, then you miss out on all of those opportunities and royalties and, and and even like all the songs that are coming back now, whether they're being sampled, whether it's just like retro music that people are turning into, you know, uh, EDM type mixes. I mean, all that money, the original producer should be getting paid off of that stuff, but that's what I've, I've been seeing uh, hasn't happened. So to piggyback, uh, so about 10 years ago I started my own law firm. I came together with uh, another guy with the law school with. We started Metal Law Group. It uh, stands for Media, Entertainment, Technology, Action, Sports, and Lifestyle. So we focus on pretty much every aspect of entertainment and that was kind of good to, to do because I, my base was music, but then music's turned into everything else now. I mean, music, music for a little while, it wasn't even a business. It was more of an ancillary business because, you know, TV and, and film was, was kind of driving it. But now music's coming back, and, and that's it, it's um, it, they finally figured out how to monetize a lot of it. So so now I'm starting to see some of the producers um, get a lot better deals now for for what their what their craft is.